you can see things are starting to change here the seasons are going forward it is Saturday today March 16 it's 8 o'clock something and you is still sleeping so I just been out with Nanook a little bit and feeding the birds I'm a little bit excited today because I'm finally gonna do this video that I've been thinking about doing for a really long time if you watched my previous video, you know that I mentioned that I wanted to do an interview with Yuan or like a Q&A. So I asked you guys to ask Yuan questions and uh, we've got a lot of questions for him now. So I thought we should do this video now to ask Yuan some questions today and to hopefully let you guys get to know him a little bit better. Oh, look at Nanook. Nanook is so happy when he can walk on the snow. <laughs> oh, oi. Come Nanook, var försiktig. If you've been on this channel for a while, you know that talking in front of the camera is not Johan's favorite thing. He feels a bit uncomfortable, even though it has become much better since I started doing these vlogs uh, some years ago. I just really have to clarify one thing. <laughs> because I saw some comments that uh, I should not force him to do this interview and I should not film him when he doesn't like it. And I really want you to know that I would never force you want to be in a video. I could never force him. If he doesn't want to, he would not allow me to film him. And I would never want to film him unless he felt it was okay. You know, sometimes something feels a bit uncomfortable or maybe you get nervous doing something but you still want to do it. I guess that's, this is the case. Uh, he actually often expressed gratitude that I do film us and do film our life uh, and our conversations because it's so nice to be looking back at. This video today comes from love and joy from both of us. But of course that doesn't take away the fact that it is a bit uncomfortable being interviewed. And I guess especially for you one. Even I hate to be interviewed. That's why I almost never do any podcasts or stuff like that because I just feel so stiff or it feels so unnatural to just sit down and get questions and answer them. So my plan for today is that I'm going to do this video more like a normal vlog. So you guys gonna get to spend a Saturday with us, you're gonna hang around with us, whatever we are doing. We have no big plans, we're just gonna be at home. And now and then I'm gonna pop up your questions and ask him, so it comes natural. Nanok! <whistles> no, 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 no! Nanok, that's an old potato! You come! Nay, los, 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 los! Oh! Oh, I threw away some old potatoes out here in the snow. All right, I'm gonna go in and do some breakfast. Mwah. Okay, we have had some breakfast now. I've had some coffee. I've had some coffee, but not Yuan. You don't drink so much coffee anymore. No. So Yuan, <laughs> it's your special day. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I've been waiting for this day. Okay. I, I'm gonna do this easy for you. Today. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be okay. I yeah. Think. I've already told them that it's gonna be like a vlog. You guys are gonna just hang around with us and I'm gonna pop some questions for you. Hmm? But I'm gonna ask you a first question now. Okay. And the first one is my question to you. I see that a lot of people don't know this and I think it's good that we clear it right away. Okay. How do you spell your name? J-O-H-A-L Johan. Johan. Mm. And when you say it fast, it's like Johan. Mm. The H is silent, I guess. Yeah. In a way. We start with the basic first and then we dig ourselves deeper into the very core of your soul. How old are you? <laughs> oh, 39, I think. Born 85. Yeah, and what's your birthday? 13th of February. So let's start there. We do a soft start, yes. Yeah. Good job. Now I think we're gonna go for a walk with our little doggy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's very slippery now. Yeah, now it's this time of the year when the snow it's starting to melt, so it's very icy. Yeah. Because it melts during the day when it's sunny and then it freezes during the night. <laughs> he sees the ground for the first time. <laughs> the smell. Wow, grass. <laughs> we take it slow, oh. slow days. Now this horrible hard light begins, but I got these glasses from my dad last year and they are amazing. Steampunk glasses. Yeah, you think they look steampunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're cool. They are so good. They're covered in the sides, so when I take this on, I feel like I can breathe, like I get oxygen again. You and I have another question for you. Okay, shoot. Sure. Where in Sweden do you come from? Where were you born? Where did you grow up? I grew up in a city called uh, Örnsköldsvik and on the side is a place called Järved. It's like a small neighborhood. Or, uh, like a small town or village. Yeah. So there, yeah, my parents live there now and my brother also lives there. What's the name of your parents and your siblings? My dad, his name is Carl Gunnar but he's called Kalle. And my mom's name is Margareta. My brother's name is Mikael. And my sister's name is Lisa. So you have one older brother yeah. and your sister is younger. Yeah, so I'm the middle kid. Yeah, just like me, we're both middle kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you have a really nice family. I'm so glad for yeah. that. Yeah, they are nice. They're so kind. And yeah. yeah. How far away is this? town or shall speak like 90 kilom kilometers from here so they are pretty close it takes like one and a half hour yeah. or something to drive mm. there so we meet them regu regularly <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, it's a nice place to grow, grow up in it's very safe and calm and balanced in a way did you have a lot of friends there yeah yeah i had a lot of friends so you had a good childhood yeah very good childhood. yeah, yeah. absolutely what was your childhood dream? I can't remember really like when I was like a kid. The only thing that I could feel like that that's like a nice profession or what's that? Uh, it's like a chef. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Working with food. Yeah. Yeah. At one time. So I was actually planning on doing that, but then yeah, it changed. So. You would have been an amazing chef because you that's a talent that maybe you don't know that Johan has. He's really good at uh, cooking. Yeah, really good. You are, because you, you haven't spent that much time doing it, but you're so good with tastes and... and Flavors, like the bam, yeah, maybe. I can feel that you have passion for it. Yeah, when I cook for you. Yeah. <laughs> when, it's a, when I cook for myself, no. You often cook for me. Yeah. In our house, I would say that you are the one the chef over the cooking and <laughs> the, the food. Yeah, I mean, you help. But you always do like the main things. Yeah. <laughs> I cook the potatoes <laughs> or the rice or do the salads mm. and I dance for you while you cook. <laughs> <laughs> Camina. 
<laughs> yeah, so we are a good combo, but she makes yeah. so good food, really. I'm so grateful for that. No, Nanak, no. Oh, <laughs> Nanak is eating the reindeer food. <laughs> you always find food. I feed the reindeers. No, not the reindeers, the deers. The, yeah, the deers. Yeah. yeah, so I have buckets of uh, food for them. It looks like we don't feed him, but we really do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he gets a taste of everything. There's another question that it's not about you, but I think you ask yourself that every day. Okay. Why Nanook is so cute? Why? <laughs> Why? Yeah. yeah, I understand the question. No. No. <laughs> and another one asked, how did you learn English so well? Watching movies, playing video games, basically. <laughs> That's... <laughs> yeah. Oh, spring is on its way. visit my grand uncle later yeah. and I thought I would make him a cake. <laughs> <laughs> I have another question for you. If you were an animal, which one would you be? An owl. An owl? Yeah, come come here. Also, what's your favorite movie? Uh, oh. The Shawshank Redemption. It's a good one. Yeah. That's a very good one. Yeah. Eggs without eggshells. video is about you one you might be wondering what is he doing now while I'm baking let's go and check <laughs> so what are you doing I'm just reading about modding in Walheim oh that's actually another question what's your favorite game oh it must be Rimworld yeah because you are a bit of a gamer aren't yeah you? It's nice to go into something else sometimes. So now you know what you want is doing. Yeah. Is it going good with the sugar cake? It couldn't go better. <laughs> this is like your corner in the house. Yeah. Here's where you usually work a lot. Yeah, my office in a way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have another question for you. Mm -hmm. How did your life look like before we met? So before 2015, October, because that's when we met. It was colorless. Oh. Mm -hmm. What did you, where did you live? What did you do for a living? How did your everyday look like? I lived in, a, I had a house out on the countryside, closer to this place than my childhood home. So I was, had moved more in this direction actually. Yeah. Yeah. Actually the same year, uh, like I mm. moved up here from Gothenburg in 2010. Yeah, and I moved out of the city at the exact same year. Yeah. So the same year we shows this direction in life to yeah. move into so, the forest in a way. So if you can look at a map, you can see like how we <laughs> was drawn to each other <laughs> yeah. in a way. Yeah, but then it took another five years before we met. But how, mm -hmm. like, how did your life look like? What did you work with? And just I describe. worked as an electrician. So I, it was like the normal working routine, like, yeah. Where, what kind of electrician? Yeah, mostly I was in like uh, like industry, like big uh, paper mills and big workshops, railroad. Because you worked as an electrician for many years, right? Yeah, like 13, 14 years. At that time when when you lived there in, in the house, on the countryside, yeah. you worked as, as an electrician. Mm -hmm. 
Like, what did you do on your weekends? Oh, a, a mix of chilling and uh, doing some kind of creative stuff, learning different softwares on the computer, mixing around with uh, Photoshop, mm. writing. Just like me back in those days, you lived alone in a house in the countryside. Mm. Did you enjoy that life alone? Yeah, it was soothing. I don't know, I don't know why. I just, I like that solitude. We talked about that one time that we both were so happy being alone. Like mm. we, we had both kind of uh, accept that if we would live alone for the rest of our lives. Yeah, I think we both have gone through experiences with like relationships that also were pointing in that direction. Like, no, if it's gonna be this way, then I'm much happier being alone. And I was very, yeah, fine with it. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't sad or like, oh, I'm missing out or so on something because I, I think I'm quite independent. Yeah. In that sense. In a way, I believe that that's why we met, because we were both ready. We were <laughs> yeah. ready to live our life all alone. We didn't seek happiness in someone else. We felt it in ourselves. We are both very introverted, mm. even though we are that in different ways. I don't know how it happened, but as the year passed, I just felt more and more I need to get out of that like in the city when everything is packed together, there is people everywhere, there is stuff that like it's something is happening all the time around you. That was draining. Mm. <laughs> Very draining. Yeah. So you just have that peace and quiet in have your own place, your own space. You, and that was good with like having a house as well. Mm. You had you own that house, you can do whatever you wanted with it didn't have like a landlord or anything and you had also like the property with, with where you can build stuff you could take care of you could uh, grow stuff whatever mm. so having that <laughs> your own kind of world i guess yeah that was good for you yeah yeah it's kind of fascinating that we both took that step away from the city the exact same year and with the same intention of being more alone and quietness and mm. we seek for the same thing. Oh, wait, the cake! <laughs> yeah, but it looks okay, I guess. Yeah, but that's okay. It's a nice color. I wonder what this area is about. What happened? Ooh. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. I know what you want now. You know that you deserve a meatball. Yes. Mm. Hey. <laughs> hey. You got the cake? I'm carrying your cake. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to my grand uncle Tage with the cake. <laughs> and my brother Philip, uh, you know, Philip who works with us. He lives in Seleftio and he is in the village now. He sometimes comes in the weekends to visit yeah, our parents. So we're gonna go and pick him up. So he's gonna follow us to Target. What's your favorite color? Blue. Water or beer? Beer. <laughs> What do you have to say about it? Your shirt? Why Large, did you show your shirt? Uh, largest uh, trailer run in almost 15,000 participants. Have you done it? Yes, uh, last uh, September. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Mm. I, I think we put in an applaud here from everybody. Yeah. 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 <laughs> How was the drive, Philip, the Grunjan? It was good, a bit uh, messy. Look at my car. Kind of uh, dirty. very dirty. Yes. Uh, 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 u
Men... Hej Tage, hur mår du idag? Ja, inne i helvete bra. Hej då min där jävla dota för fan. Hello, hello. <laughs> that was a nice fika with Tage. Yes. Yeah, it's so nice to just go and talk <sighs> with him. He's a he's a cool person. Yeah, he's special. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people want to know about your hobbies. Like, what do you like to do on your free time when you're not working? I like to play video games. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I could watch movies or whatever, but like, I think some kind of escape this world in a way. Mm. It's not because I don't like this world, it's just I like going into a more like creative space. Can you mention, I you know, especially something that you do, that you like to do when you are having inspiration? Mm. I think we have mentioned it some time before, because I know people have been curious about it. Let's see. Yeah, do you think about writing? Yeah, writing. Because yeah, yeah. uh, I know it's hard to talk about yourself sometimes, so that's why I'm like <laughs> <laughs> putting the words in your mouth. But yeah, uh, yeah you, you are a really good writer. You really no, are. I don't know if I'm good. He I, is I, a like... really good writer. <laughs> But, but you are, that, that's even how we connected. I was so fascinated by the way you wrote because it really touched my heart and you write poems and you, I mean, you have written your own little book back in the days when you were younger and mm. yeah, like you have always written. Mm. So what are you working on right now? Are you writing anything right now? Yes. Yes, <laughs> you are. But I can't tell you anything about it. It's my secret. Yeah, but you are writing on a book right now. Like, uh, what can you say? What kind of theme it is? I mean, I know, but yeah. what uh, is it? Criminal? No, it's fiction. Yeah, because yeah. you have have started writing a lot of books. Yeah, I've started a lot of books. You're a starter. <laughs> yeah, not to finish. <laughs> I think it's just because I want when I do something like that, it needs to be perfect. And it takes time to do mm. something perfect. Yeah. It's, it takes a lot of time. So then I guess also when there are times when the inspiration isn't really there, then I just leave it. Mm. So sometimes you can be writing in like a month, almost every evening, and then mm. suddenly you take a break for like half a year. And mm -hmm. then, yeah. yeah. And you, I think you usually like to write in the winters. Mm, yeah, it's more more like it's the more fitting energy <laughs> during mm. the winter. Makes sense. So uh, you have this book project. We are all eagerly waiting because seriously, yeah. I I know a little bit about this idea. And it's <laughs> such a, another world. It's so nice. I can really see this book coming out, and I can see how it's going to become a movie someday. Yeah, we will see. Yeah. Ooh. If I finish it, yeah. if I'm. Yeah, you Manage. have to. I think I think you have to. I feel like you have such a gift. Yeah, it's just incredible, and I think it's uh, it's a gift you have, and I think you are meant to do something with it in this world, to create worlds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we will see. Are you a morning person or an evening person? Definitely an evening person. You like to stay up later, and you are really tired in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can sleep 
for very long. Yeah, you can. I always wake you up, otherwise mm. you... I can sleep and to noon or something. Yeah. Unfortunately, we are both evening persons. Yeah. So uh, I'm also really, really tired in the morning. But I set my alarm. You, you don't always do that. No. Maybe it's good that we are on the same. Yeah. Otherwise, I mean, it'd be quite, kind of boring to go to bed very early and you stay up and then yeah. the other way around. Like, I love that we are both night presses. Like on a Saturday like tonight, we might stay up until 2, mm -hmm. 3 in the night and then we can sleep until 10. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm -hmm. Nights are the best. Yeah. yeah. And also early, early mornings. Yeah, they're nice too. Yeah. Now we have to charge this little camera because it's uh, getting out of it's, uh, Oh, working. memory too. Yeah, battery in memory space. Yeah. Okay. If a mod Yuan is going and gather wood so we can make a little fire in the stove. Oops, it's dark. Uh, do you ever thought of traveling around the world with Yoma? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> that would be a nice thing to do. Yeah. To see the world, see different places and cultures and yeah, experience that with you. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna do that someday. Uh, we have talked about traveling for so long. I think we have never really been on a normal like vacation. No. We've been to the United States to the National Park Yosemite, mm. but that was a work trip and I was so stressed out all that trip because I had so much on my schedule every day to do. Mm. So we have never been like on a vacation. No, not really. And we talk about it often that we would like to travel. There's three reasons to why we haven't done much traveling. When we first met, mm. we didn't have much money. I almost earned no money mm. in, every month. You had a normal uh, income because you worked as an electrician. So first we were too poor to travel. Mm. And then when we started up the jewelry business again and we started yeah, working, we didn't have... it was have, a lot of work. Yeah. And it has been that for a couple of years. And we had no time to travel. We had to focus on, on yeah, building our company up. Mm. And then when we finally could afford to travel and had time, the pandemic hit. Oh, it's four reasons. And now when the <laughs> pandemic is yeah, over, if you say that, uh, Nanook, he's old mm. and we don't want to leave him. Not even for a couple of days. I, we, yeah, I would no. never want to leave him now when he's old like this. No. So we are staying home with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we just want to take advantage of every minute we have with him. Yeah. What is your favorite country outside Sweden? That's a hard one. No, but you have like, if you have a list of three countries that you would like to visit. I would like to go to Australia mm. because that's a interesting country that I think. Very far away. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't like spiders, so... <laughs> Always been curious on Japan. Wow, yeah. But then there are like some other countries like, I don't know, those uh, where you have the um, more like jungle and where you can visit these um, more like temples and like old pyramids in South America and stuff. Yeah, you mean, oh, you mean South America? Yeah. Machu Picchu. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah exactly. South America is like on my top list. Yeah. It, yeah. it depends on like if you want to go on an adventure or if you just want mm -hmm. to chill. I would like to do a lot of stuff when it yeah. comes to like traveling yeah. in different countries because you can go on a like a food trip, go mm -hmm. around southern Europe, like experience all the different kinds of yeah. food they have there and yeah. Ooh, are you making buns for us tonight? Yes. Little grandma dog. Yes. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you want gonna drink, oh boy. <laughs> like, do other countries also have this brand, oh boy? I feel like it should be a worldwide thing, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. You don't think so? Can you guys answer us? Do you have Oboi in your country? And do you like it? We love it. <laughs> We're gonna go out with Nanook now. We've had some dinner and we have been just chilling for a while. And now we're gonna go on an evening walk with Doggy. Doggy Doggy. Someone is asking, do you ever lose your temper or raise your voice? Because you seem so calm and gentle all the time. <laughs> uh, sometimes. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say that you like raise your voice like, Wah! not like no. that. No, no. But you can, you know. <laughs> what things? piss you off or annoys you or put you in a bad mood? Uh, dropping stuff on the floor. Yes, I was just gonna say that. When oh. something just... These uh, unlogical things happening. Yeah, and it can be the smallest things. Yeah. Leah, just like dropping the fork when you're going to eat dinner. And, you, and <laughs> stuff like just, yeah, mm. small annoying things mm. that can really put your mood down. Yeah. Yeah, because those things, I, I don't know. Simple things feels like you can control or handle shouldn't happen stuff around them But when there is like a, a something more advanced or something It's more okay that it's that you struggle Yeah, I guess because it's logical that it, you need to struggle a little bit because it's more advanced but when there is simple simple <laughs> things happening and I can't understand why because it's just yeah Unlogical. Then. That's so strange to me because mm. since you you are very uh, how do you say resilient? Like you are. <clears> there's <throat> not much that puts you in this aggressive or angry or stressed mode. You are mm. very patient. Yeah, and, yeah, I have a lot. But of then patience. you get annoyed on the most small things that I would <laughs> never get annoyed to. If we were doing like this now, I'm gonna have this, and then you're like. It's just just that motion, like, yeah, I'm gonna take my hand now and I'm gonna grab this glove. Yeah. It shouldn't be a problem. Continue with some questions now. How many blueberries are there in the forest? Many. Just kidding. That was actually a question. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now people have learned that before we met, you worked as an electrician. Yes. And you also worked as an electrician a few years after we met. Mm -hmm. But then you did a huge change in your career. You started working with something completely new that you had never been working with before. Mm -hmm. And we have got a lot of questions. People <laughs> asking, how did you learn jewelry making? How and when? 2018? No, actually you started in 2017. Really? Yes. Okay. In, in the beginning of 2018, that's when you kind of started it up. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you and your mom have been doing that? Yeah, some background info for those of you who don't know. Uh, me and my mother, Anita, we started the jewelry making way back in 2009. I was 20 years old and we started the jewelry making back when we lived in Gothenburg. And then uh, we moved up to the north and yeah, we started a web shop, but it was a bit on and off because Actually, every time we opened the web shop and started selling our jewelry, it became too much work. So we had to kind of close it again because we both, both of us had to do other jobs as well. Mm. In 2017, you I remember that evening because you 
for the first time actually went up to to the silversmith workshop in mm. my mother's working room. Mm. Yeah, and, and I remember you two had been talking about that. Like you should try it, or you should like you want to uh, to show me. I think it was that you went up and looked at the silver, and you became yeah. a bit hooked. You yeah, you there was like something you... mesmerizing. Yeah. Around it. Yeah. And I I remember also you talking about that. Like every time when you go up to that workshop, you like get stuck looking at everything and all the materials and the tools and yeah i think it's radiating creativity I think. Yeah. yeah yeah then we just took a day when i was gonna try for yeah. the first time so my mother anita was kind of showing you yeah how to start yeah and i made a ring i think yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't too. Uh, yeah. I soldered it together and so, yeah. Because this is a little bit hard to remember, so we are yeah, yeah. helping each other. But I think then we started discussing again that maybe we can actually open up the webshop again if you also start learning this. Yeah. So that we could be three people helping and it would mm, be just, easier for us to just, run it. Yeah, and also just as a fun side project mm. because at that time I wasn't thinking anything about like leaving my work or no. but then I got hooked <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't sleep doing yeah that. it was uh, it was kind of in one way I didn't like it because it you open up something it was like I just got pictures in my head around designs and, and I couldn't sleep even if it was fun but kind of distract distracting but that, that's a good sign, I think, when you feel yeah. a passion about something. Mm -hmm. We did work a lot with some designs and put mm. up the web shop. So all three of us were like, yeah, working really hard for some months. Mm. Then we got overflowed again with orders. Yeah. So we actually closed <laughs> it again <laughs> for like the tenth time. <laughs> uh, that's, yeah. And yeah, because I mean, it's a lot of work, not just creating the stuff it's all when just to fix everything to start selling yeah. to have it available in a way like it's so much more than you mm -hmm. ever can imagine to everyone that have ever had like some kind of web shop or a creative business you know what we're talking about like it's so easy to burn out yeah uh, but then we then that's when i think you you got yeah the idea. You because i at the same time it was very I, I, it was fun and I really liked it, but then so like the re when reality hit us like no, we need to close it down again. I started thinking about but, but maybe it could be a full-time thing. Yeah You first uh, took Fridays off from your normal mm, job. Yeah, and worked with jewelry. Yeah, and it was mainly your mom Anita that uh, like trained me yeah to say, like to educated me around it so I uh, didn't go any like I would say courses or no education and then fast forward in the summer you quit your job and <laughs> you decided to go full-time and mm. try this yeah so I did have everything myself I start my own business and learned about like accounting and all that. Built a web shop. I, I mean, you helped, of course. You did took photos and everything. Like, <laughs> and also, it couldn't be it be possible if it wasn't for your like because it was in your business. Yeah, in a way, we did it was it. a different company, yeah. but it was still in the in your brand. You you did take a really big risk quitting your job mm. and what happened in the autumn of 2018 that's the same time I started doing vlogs so you can mm. actually see this whole story from kind of the beginning when this started mm. yeah what happened <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened <laughs> yeah. I had a lot to do too much to do yeah it was uh, even if I was working full time I mean it was over full time I was working like all the time yeah. on evenings and weekends and it was fun of yeah. course but it was hard as well 
Uh, I think I've seen some videos from that time and we worked so hard. It was often midnight when we... Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember we didn't around, eat well. around midnight. Yeah, we came to this point again that we can't continue this doing everything ourselves. No. And doing so then... That's all, that yeah. also takes out the, the creative and the passion and the fun of it. You need to turn yourself into a machine. Mm. Creating the... Yeah, taking the orders and create and send it as fast as possible and just... So it was no time for making new designs mm. or time for anything else, so... But then we came to this point where we either had to uh, <laughs> go smaller yeah. or expand and get help. We, we have always uh, chosen the other way to go smaller or quit. Mm. But now we chose to try to expand and actually build it up from the ground and make it, how to say, sustainable. Without yeah, sustainable and balanced. I yeah. Guess. So we didn't need to overwork and burn ourselves out. Just need some water. Yes. So let's end with some easy, light questions. Oh, that sounds good. Cool. Uh, someone <laughs> is asking uh, about your last name. Is Jinton Johan's last name or does he have another? He wonder about this culture thing. Is it a thing in Sweden that the man changes his name? In Sweden, you can do whatever you want, I guess. But I think the traditional way of doing is that if you get married, the woman takes the man's last name. But not, <laughs> not this time. No, you wanted no. to take my last hmm? name. And we, you can also keep your own names. Have like double. Yeah. So or... what was your original last name? Byström. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What makes you feel most satisfied, happy, and at peace? Yeah, this... I guess just being with you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel the same. It doesn't matter what we do. We can just driving around in the car, or lying at the beach, or sit talking. Or yeah, it doesn't matter. No, without any like distraction, it's just and everything is good. Everything is just as it should be. <laughs> and then just be yeah, spending time with you. Quiet days alone. Yeah, having this sanctuary. So beautiful. I'm gonna see if I have anything else for you. <laughs> There's a lot of questions. Okay, we're gonna do the last one. I saved this one. Is it the last one? Yeah, this is the last one. Okay. And I saved it uh, for last because I don't want to ruin the rest of your day. <laughs> your appearance, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> How long is your hair? So I think you should show us because it's pretty damn long. No, it's not that long. It's longer than mine. Yeah, but it's not long. It's not that yeah. special. Yeah, it is. I, I have to, we have to stand up. So I maybe can't answer exactly how long it is, but it's definitely half a meter, maybe. It's really long. Stand like this. You started actually growing this out when you started with the jewelry. Yeah, maybe I did. So here we have all the hardships. <laughs> yeah, everything. It's saved yeah. in the... <laughs> yeah, the whole story. Here. <laughs> This was such a fun video to make. You think so? Yeah, I loved it. It was so nice to just, I don't know, focus on you and uh, ask you questions. And mm. you did so good, honestly. Nah. You did. Yeah. What mm. do you guys think? Did, didn't he just nailed it? Mm. You nailed it. Mm. So uh, I, I guess this video is going to be really, really long. And I mean, there is so many more questions that I could ask. But we gotta stop somewhere and hopefully there will be a part two someday. If you guys have any more questions, just write in the comment section and I will save them. Thank you so much everyone for watching this video. It was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, we send you so much love. Yes, we do. Mwah! Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> See you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>